Uh, but now, Emma Dale is rarely quiet at Christmas. Ten years on from jilting Carl at the altar, Chaz is set to walk down the aisle to marry Paddy on Christmas Chaz Day. Except this time, she's no idea it's even happening. I'm having dinner at the Marchman. Yes, that's why the kitchen's eerily quiet. It's all under control. Oh, wow, Paddy. Do you like it? It's perfect. I mean, it's... It's a bit OTT, but what the hell? Wait till I show Lydia and Amanda. There's no need, you'll see him later. I booked for the whole family. So why has Lydia been up since the crack cooking? Because she doesn't know yet, does she? It's a surprise. Paddy, that, that's an extravagant gift. It must have cost you a fortune. Not as much as you'd think, actually. I booked it ages ago. And I mean, like, ages ago. Right. Then I'm loving my surprise. <laughs> Great. Because <laughs> I've only just started. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Good morning to you, Emma Dale's Chaz. Actress Lucy Podgeter joins me now. Can I just say, Paddy is one of the most loved characters on telly. You cannot hurt his feelings on Christmas Day. We couldn't bear it, could we? I know, but will she, won't she? I mean, it's a, it's a massive surprise for her. She's got no idea it's, it's going to happen. Her track record with weddings isn't amazing, or Paddy's, for that instance, really. Um, so, yeah, will they, won't they? And will anybody there to uh, scupper their plans, really? I think Charity could throw a spanner in the works. Yeah, she's... Uh, the relationship between Chaz and Charity at the moment isn't great, uh, and Chaz has just about had enough of Charity and, and basically says she doesn't even want her on Christmas Day to, uh, you know, have dinner with them. So I don't think Paddy invites her to the wedding, which means that she is a, a woman scorned and um, has other ideas for the day, I think. Oh, lovely. Now, listen, do you like surprises in real life? I mean, would you be... I mean, if... I think the idea of a surprise wedding is kind of horrifying, I think. I would be physically sick, yeah. I think. I mean, it's quite a nice idea because you don't have to do any of the planning and you don't have to kind of go through it all. You just turn up and it's all done for you. But I hate surprises. Yeah. I hate being out the loop with anything, really. I like to know what's happening, what time it's happening and all the details. Yeah, you're absolutely like me. Listen, was it lovely to be at the centre of a Christmas storyline? I mean, in, in the acting world, in the soap world, that's got to be a sort of a, a massive moment, really. And I know you've had it before, but is it just a real honour in a way? It's a massive honour. I've, I've been blessed with so many Christmas storylines. And, and when I heard about the, the wedding, it was great. I mean, not only is it a beautiful kind of idea for the couple to go through after the, the last two years that they've had with losing the baby and then having this baby in lockdown and the pub and everything that's gone on. I mean, it's a beautiful way to kind of possibly end the year and their past kind of couple of years that have been not great. And will you be watching it? This is what I find interesting on Christmas Day, because it's, it's, there are hour-long specials, aren't there? Is it on... It's an hour-long special on Christmas Eve and on Christmas Day. Well, I often wonder if anybody does watch it and what kind of state they're in when they are watching it. Whether they're... <laughs> what kind of state will you be in when you watch it back? <laughs> um, I'll still be kind of mapping up the mess of the day, I think, and loading the dishwasher and unloading the dishwasher and kid wrangling and everything. So you've I don't got know twins, haven't you? You've got up. tiny little twins that to, to handle on Christmas Day. Yeah, I've got a three and a half year old twin girls and a 15 year old girl as well. So I've got Lola, Missy and Betsy. And um, yeah, so I've got a lot of kid wrangling to be doing on Christmas Day. Oh, my goodness. Listen, what's it been like this year on set for Emma Dale? Because obviously, it's, you know, everybody's needed you to carry on. We wanted, we needed entertainment. You saw it on Saturday Strictly. We need entertainment at home because we basically we're, we're in we our do. homes a lot. Yeah, and I found through lockdown, you know, just being able to tune in and see Lorraine or Phil and Holly or Loose Women or anything like that, it was it was that sense of normality that you needed, really. It was just that sense of life is still going on, everything's kind of okay. So people need the soaps. Um and it's we we did have three downs of three months of of not working, and then we went in slowly. And it's been a lot of distancing. We have the two meter pole. I think everybody does who's working now. Um, there's a lot of we do our own hair and makeup. We have our costumes. We have to sort all that out mm. and the props. But we've it's been amazing to get back on set and the, 
the atmosphere is still exactly the same. We're all still messing around and having a laugh. And I think that's what we all need. And hopefully still producing stuff that doesn't, you know, jar too much because of distancing, but we're still producing stories. Yeah, it's incredible the sort of amount of work that goes into getting it all on air in the end. Um, and what yeah. made me giggle was the fact that apparently in real life, as you're going about your real life, your character and you get mixed up a lot. And there's a lot of... The fans get quite cross with you today. Is that right? Well, I think recently, because of lockdown episodes and, and Chaz has been quite snappy... And she, she always takes a lot of stuff out on Paddy anyway. And I think people have taken it to heart that she's somewhat kind of, you know, mentally kind of digging at him all the time. But that's just her. That's their relationship. Uh, but thankfully, now we've got the masks. I don't get recognised a lot. And it, it's a bonus, really, because you can walk around and feel like, hey, I can, I can look awful. I don't have to dress up. No one's going to know who I am. And it, it, it's brilliant. And just give us a sense of how the, you know, your family, there's four girls in the family there. What will Christmas Day be like? Oh, uh, yeah, four girls in the yeah. same house all together <laughs> with a mad, crazy dog, far too many presents and an emergency dinner now because everybody's plans have yeah. changed. So, unfortunately, as so many of your viewers will be going through you know, day changes and all of a sudden I'm now cooking, which I wasn't Planning. Oh, to goodness. <laughs> Are you a good cook? No, Mr. Oh. Marks and Spencer's will be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> the well, now you've mentioned them on air. <laughs> <laughs> um, I forgot to pick up a turkey, so that, that would be greatly appreciated if they can drop one off. <laughs> well, from all of us, good luck to the children going to eat your Christmas dinner. We wish them all the best. <laughs> Take care. Amazing. And we look forward to your fantastic Emmerdale storyline on Christmas Day. What a great moment Thank for you. Thank you so, so much, much for being on the show. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Lucy. So nice to see you this morning. Isn't that lovely? Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.